Hello folks, uh, welcome to another episode of X City. So today is just going to be a mini video and it's actually going to be uh, a follow up to the last video we did uh, on building and, and designing your septic tank uh, in Liberia. So if you recall, we said your septic tank should consist of uh, three uh, compartments or two compartments at least, and it should consist of a drain field and also that the flow, um, in fact, most importantly, that the flow should be cemented. So that means you should uh, create a solid concrete flow for the septic tank and not just let your raw sewage to seep into the ground. So as I was making that video, so in Exit, we were actually building another uh, septic tank there. Uh, this is separate from the one that I built in Johnsonville, which is outside and away from Exeter. But uh, this one is, is being built as we speak, and I think uh, it's almost complete. We haven't uh, drilled the holes into the uh, partitioning walls yet, and we haven't created a drain field yet. But um, we've built uh, a septic tank again in the same style as I'd advised. And this time around, we'll just like uh, go through the video. So you actually see the process of building what I described in the previous video. So uh, this will be something like uh, showing a real world example of what we talked about. This is really where we are just building the forms where we are going to pour the concrete to form the outer walls of the septic tank. So we bought a couple of plywoods and uh, the boys are recycling some of the old wood we had uh, lying around in Exeter to hold this mold together and we are going to pour uh, concrete uh, between those uh, plywoods um, and then uh, as you can see there are uh, steel pillars uh, already uh, erected on the four corners uh, so those pillars are basically there to uh, toughen the wall and then in between those pillars as well uh, there is a mat system uh, made of this uh, uh, steel rebounds basically um, so this mat frame is going to basically hold the concrete uh, together as well so we have a very uh, solid uh, vault that is being built and this is the outer form of it and then we are going to partition it into this uh, three vault system and we will show that later on in the video uh, a couple of things to note here is that XCD is very sandy, so they had to dig like extra space around and then also create this plywood thing to make like a real good uh, uh, non-penetrable wall to pour the concrete in because as they were digging actually the sand was falling back into the hole. Uh, so that's one of the challenges that boys faced here. But um, they did a pretty good job of clearing outside of the walls of the uh, septic tank itself to give them room to be able to plant um, their pillows and also build the form that is going to hold the concrete. Um, yeah, um, there's a little bit of wind in the background because, of course, uh, exit it is windy. Uh, and again, you can see the soil type there is mostly sand. It's a very sandy area. It's a blessing and a challenge as well. Um, yeah, so inside you'll see it same inside for now, but uh, definitely as they uh, fix this thing, they build the walls and then... Uh, so in this part of the video, um, you see that the walls have already Go back, go back to So in this portion of the video, the walls have already been erected and the concrete is drying, in the process of drying and uh, they started uh, backfilling uh, with sand around it. and uh, those three openings at the top that you see there right now is covered with the wood uh, that, that forms the frame to the opening um, we'll remove those woods and then those uh, planks and wood and then you can be able to get into there and then we will drill the hole uh, through the partitioning walls so each of those three uh, square shaped uh, grooves you see on top of it those three square shaped things you see on top of the septic tank actually the openings to each of those three vaults and we'll put ladder in there and then drill the hole between the partitioning walls just like we did the last time uh, it looks good but it's not perfect uh, i can see some uh, where the geometry is like it's not perfect but it's good 
Thanks for watching this episode and I hope to see you in the next one. As I said, this is going to be a very short video just talking about the septic tank, how it looks like. Uh, as you can see from the video, like if you see the openings to the three compartments, uh, they do not seem as perfectly square as I would love them to be or even perfectly rectangular or the boundaries are not well, don't seem to be well aligned at least um, with the edges, the outer edges of the septic tank itself. But again, those are the things that when you are not around and uh, uh, these boys are working on these things, sometimes they will make errors. And this is why uh, critical things like are not done uh, in my absence or in uh, technical people's, uh, other technical people's absence. Uh, but for this vote, uh, the guy who's uh, doing that work, uh, he's the same guy basically that I uh, uh, worked with to build the first one when I discovered that he was going to build it the wrong way. So his experience from building that with me is what he used to build this in my absence. And again, uh, it may not be perfect, but it is way better than what he would have built without uh, the previous experience that he and I had together, right? So I think there is improvement there. And this septic tank is again just built in the equipment yard. This is not the septic tank that we have built for any particular uh, residence home. This is what I am going to be using personally uh, for that uh, little one bedroom apartment that we built in the equipment yard where I'll be staying when I'm staying in Exit while work is going on. Uh, of course, we'll connect it to other uh, units for other workers to use it as well. But um, this is just in the equipment yard. It's actually right on the outskirt of the X City. This is not even connected to anything in the X City. So that's it. But these are opportunities for people to practice, right? And as the more he does this, the better he gets at it. And then, of course, when we are doing the real thing for Exodus residents, of course, that's when like all of the um, uh, real uh, competent engineers will be on ground. Even people much, much smarter than I am will be there to do this work. And of course, I will be there uh, to make sure that things are uh, kept to the right uh, bar that we want, the quality bar that we want, right? So, yeah. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video and you have a wonderful uh, day and keep coming back. We will always have something exciting to show. Bye-bye.